what's up guys, it's Covert Code here and welcome back to episode 5 of the Zero to Hero series. In this video we're going to be covering how you can actually use if statements. Now these are pretty self-explanatory honestly, but I'm actually going to go in depth and explain to you guys how you can actually use them, okay, and when it is best to use them. Let's just open the script back up that we were using in the previous episode, okay? So this is the script that we actually wrote um, last episode was about properties, how to manipulate them and how to use them. So let's just clear everything up, okay? And let me just define a variable. Now, if you haven't watched the previous episode on variables, let me just put that up on the screen now. I would strongly suggest watching the previous episodes before continuing with this episode, okay? So I'm just gonna say that someone is strong, okay? So person is strong is equal to true, okay? So I just said this variable to true, okay? So that's what we covered in the, I think it was episode two or three or something like that when we did variables. Now, if conditions are basically used to check a variable or a condition, that's what we're gonna refer to them from now on, okay? A condition. Now, if a condition is true, so for example, if you're checking if someone is strong and they are strong, then the condition will be true because they are actually strong. You're checking if they are strong, okay? If they are strong, then something will happen, pretty much. That's how if statements work. Let me just define another variable here. So let's just say person is short, okay? And let's, see, let's just put that as false, okay? So if the person is short, then something will happen. Okay, now, this is the way that you actually write an if statement. So, if, so that's the keyword you need to learn, if. Now, here's where the condition comes in, okay? So, if person is strong, okay, let's just start off with that. So, if person is strong, then do something, okay? So, the way this actually works, like when, you're, when you actually run your script, the program is going to start from line number one, it's going to you know, register these two variables, go down all the way over here, okay? And then it realizes that you actually have a condition. And by condition, I mean just like, just an if statement, okay? So if you have an if statement, it's going to recognize an if statement. And it's gonna say, okay, so the programmer here is trying to check if this condition is true. If this condition is true, he wants to do this thing. And what's actually happening here, guys, is, so it's checking if this is true, so this is the condition. Anything between the if and the then is the condition, okay? So I could include a million things here, which you might like do as you get more advanced, but for now we're just gonna stick with one thing. So if you have this thing here, okay, and it's true, then it's going to do the stuff inside. And the way this actually works is, if person is strong, okay, this is the same as saying is equal to true. Now, few new things here. So you're seeing two equal signs instead of one. If you were to do this, it's the same as trying to declare a variable, and you can't really do that when you're actually checking in, a, in an if condition. So always, always use two equal signs when, like, when you're comparing, okay? So if the person is strong, so if this variable here is equal to true, then it's going to do this. Okay, so in this case, luckily, the variable is true, okay? So if true is equal to true, they're identical, they're the same. If something is the same as something else, then it's true, okay? Um, that might have confused you a bit, just keep in mind that you're basically doing this, okay? Because this variable is true, so you're doing this, and this is obviously equal to itself, you know? It's, it's not different, so it's true. So it's going to do the things in, in here, okay? So, let me just undo that, uh, there we go, so, let's just print out person is strong, okay, let's do another one, okay, so we want to check if the person is short, okay, so if person is short, then, okay, now this again is the same as this, okay, print person is short. Okay, however, in this case, it will not print out that the person is short because this variable is equal to false and false is not equal to true. Okay, therefore, it will not run the code inside of this if statement. 
So let's introduce the final keyword here, guys. Actually, I'm going to introduce two more or three more just to make this, you know, worth your while, I guess. So if not now, just just, uh, you know, stick around and I'll explain what this means. But if not person is short, then print person is tall. OK, now this here is the same as doing this. I know these are two, two new things, but this basically means is not equal to. Remember how two equal signs means equal to? This means not equal to, okay? So this is checking now if person is short is not equal to true. So anything besides true um, is okay. So in this case, this would print out person is short, okay? But let's just undo that and use this. So know that you can actually use what we just used here. I'm just using this to teach you this new sort of keyword, okay? So if not person is short. Now, this is a logical not. I don't think most of you have computer science, um, but for those who do, it's basically the same thing. But for those of you who do not have computer science or never done like computer science, uh, essentially the not like inverses the result. So this is currently false, okay? So person is short is equal to false. So let's just replace that just for the sake of this example here. Okay, so if I add not, this basically transforms this into its opposite. Okay, so not false, what's the opposite of false, guys? It's true, okay? So if something is true, the opposite of true is false. So if I do this, it will transform this back into false. Okay, so it just um, inverses the result. Okay, in my opinion, you need some practice to actually get used to this. Okay, so what I would suggest is after watching this video, just go and write a few variables and use some conditions using this not here, okay? Um, final two keywords, guys, I promise. Um, so if person is short, okay, then so we just made our first, not our first, our third if statement, okay? So if the person is short, in this case, we're going to print out they are short, okay? However, I want to check if they are not short. They are not short. The way I do this is not equal to uh, true. Okay? Same as not person is short, by the way. I already said this. I'm just, uh, you know, repeating myself here. So, we already know how to use the not equal to. Okay? Now, there are two final keywords, as I said. Um, there's the or keyword and the and keyword, okay? So let me just comment these out. The or keyword is pretty simple, okay? So uh, let me just think of a way to represent this without confusing you guys. Okay, so let me just write something out, then I'll explain. So if person is short or person is strong, then they are either short or strong, okay? So essentially, this here is the English definition of what's going on in this if statement. So if they are either short or strong, then code runs here. Okay, so if this is equal to true, or if this is equal to true, then this will happen. Okay, they do, like both of them don't have to be true. Okay, they could be... Uh, you know, one could be true, in this case, you know, person is strong is true, and one of them could be false, okay? It would still happen because only one of them needs to be true in a nor, in a, um, in a nor condition, okay? So, this would run. Now, if I set this to false, okay, this would not run because these would both be false, okay? As you guys can see. Now, final thing. If... Uh, person is short and person is strong then um, they are strong and short okay so essentially this is the sort of opposite to the or okay so both of these have to be true in order for this to run because you're saying and you know you're not giving it the option to choose both of them have to be true or else this won't run, 
Okay. Um, in this case, if I just restore this uh, right here, you're giving it the option to choose. So this could be true, or this could be true, or both of them could be true. And this would still happen. However, in this case, if they are both false, then it will not happen. Okay. In this case here, both of them have to be true. That's pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. Um, next video is going to be pretty much on if statements as well, but we're going to introduce a few new concepts to make sure that you actually master these because there are a few things left. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave comments below to suggest what videos I should make next. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.